Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to take this responsive grid we made with Omega one step further and show you how you can attach individual items, individual components of this grid uh, to the grid in Omega. So let's turn on our grid again. Let's say that we didn't want this in a grid like this, but we wanted these to have the this image to line up with these three columns, and then the title is going to line up with the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, six columns, and the body paragraph will also line up with those six columns. So how do we do that? Well, let's come back to our, our view here, and we're going to edit this view. And we're going to, we don't need to tell this overall row to be a certain amount of grid size. We just have to tell individual components of it. So here's our view, and like I said before, we have semantic fields on, so I'm going to click on, instead of semantic views, I'm going to go to semantic views fields settings. So here we have the option to wrap everything and give it a class. So as you can imagine, we want this to line up uh, with, we said, let's look back at our site, we wanted the image to be the first three grid lines and then the paragraph of text to be the next six. So we're going to say grid hyphen three and then we're also going to say grid six on the title and grid six on the body. And one more thing we need to do here is we also need to add an element around this image. So we're just going to wrap this in a div. And for this last one, we're going to also wrap this in a div as well because it's going to put this in a paragraph. So let's wrap that in a div. So let's come here to our settings. Let's click on our semantic view settings. And we're just going to go ahead and delete that as well as the alpha and the omega on that. Okay, so let's come down here. We're going to get rid of this grid four. And we're going to get rid of this alpha and omega and let's apply and let's save this and look at what we have it's not quite right this one's fitting in here because it's long you know uh grid six whatever uh but this diff right here is sort of funky what's going on here well it is getting the margin left and right so to get everything to fit in here we, we're going to want to add our alpha and omega classes where we should have them. So if we hover over the image, you can see it's getting a, a margin on the left, just like in the last lesson. So let's come back here, and because the image is on the left, we want to give the image an alpha. And because the paragraph and the title are on the right, we're going to give these omegas, and so it's going to be omega. and after we save this, everything should fit in there, and it should be all nice and responsive, just like we'd like it. All right, check it out. Nice and responsive. Although there is something weird going on here with this title. Let's pull this back here. And it's not quite spacing upright, but it could just be a style that I have is overriding something and doing something weird. And the problem here is, is I'm already giving this uh, h3 uh, it's a margin set by me. If I uncheck that, it's going to be perfectly fine for this layout. So normally you wouldn't see that, but I'd already set the margin for something else. So as you can see, as it adjusts, everything looks great. And we have more views and omega goodness. Cool. Well, let me know if you have any questions. You know, feel free to just start throwing grid numbers on things, grid hyphen number and alpha and omega, and get your layouts looking great, nice and responsive with views and omega. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching.